Hey, thanks for joining me today for this video on a new feature found in the Zam web grid, the template column layout. Now, the way this works is, let's say you have a grid on the page and uh, you have a, a custom type of layout that you want to show for each one of the rows. So you'll notice here that I'm binding to some objects here and uh, I've got some, some uh, Star Wars ships that we're listing here in the, the grid. But if I come over and click on this selector here, you can see it expands out and I'm pointing over to an image and then I uh, have information on the pilot on and on. So uh, there's the X-Wing fighter and then also the TIE fighter. So it's just a few steps that you have to go through in order to set something like this up. So let's drop down into Visual Studio and I'll show you how it's done. So what I'm starting off with here is just a Silverlight navigation page. And you can see that I have the, the Zam web grid on here as well as reference to a view model. So bringing in the view model through the namespace here of VM, I'm just pointing over to a view model class that I've created within this project. Uh, the IG grid namespace is pointing over to infragistics.silverlight.controls and that's found in the assembly over uh, at Zam web, web grid version 10.1. So within the resources, I create an instance of the view model. So then I can pass that down to the layout grid here and set the da data context equal to the view model. And so then I just uh, define a, a row within the grid and then add the Zam web grid into the, the layout grid and give the item source uh, binding to the item. So right now I haven't declared or configured any of the columns. So let's take a quick look at the view model class. So here's the view model class and I'm just doing a lazy initialization on the items. I have an observable collection where when its count is equal to zero, then I add in the instances of the ship info objects. So once we add those in, we just return the, the instance of the items class and that's what the UI is binding to. So that's, that's really all there is for this view model class right now. So let's switch back over to the markup. So now I want to update it to add in the template column layout. So as you can see here, I've uh, opened up the definition for the Zam web grid columns and I've added in a text column. So that was the, the name of the ship that you saw in the beginning, which it, it rendered up at the, at the start. And then I stuck in the template column layout. So that's the basic format that you need. Now there's one other step that we have to do and that is we have to point this, uh, this item here to a template and that template will be defined up in the resources of the page. So let's go up here to the top and I'll, I'll update the markup uh, for the template and then we'll go through that line by line. So here I've added a data template to the resources and I gave it the, a key of ship template. And basically what's happening here is I have a, a grid that's created and it has a single row and two columns set up on it. So in the first column, I'll be adding in the image. And in the second column, I just created a stack panel here. And so we'll just have a label for the, the pilot and then we'll bind to the pilot name. So this is obviously getting the same data context as the grid has. So the individual item that's being bound here is our, our ship info class. So then from the, in the image here, I can just tell it that I want the source to bind to the image path. And then uh, again, this text box to go to the pilot name. So that's basically all I need to do in order to set up the layout for the template column. So the last step then is to return to our template column layout and point uh, the, the layout to the template itself. So here I've added in a value for the template attribute and it's pointing to the static resource of the ship template. So now that the, the grid's been defined within the page and we've given it a template column layout, let's run it and we should get uh, what we started with. So here's the grid on the page. If we open up and expand the Millennium Falcon, there we have the image for it as well as the information on the pilot. And that should work for each one of them. So there you go. That's the basics for setting up a template column layout in the Zam web grid. Infragistics. On the web at infragistics.com.